Let's set the stage. We're stepping back in time to the late 19th and early 20th centuries, an era marked by racial segregation. Against this backdrop emerged a group of trailblazers, America's first black diplomats. They faced adversity not just at home, but also abroad as they carried out their diplomatic missions. Their names, little known. Their stories, rarely told. Ebenezer D. Bassett was one such diplomat, serving as minister-resident to Haiti in 1869. Bassett, a descendant of a slave himself, faced significant challenges in his role, but never faltered in his duties. His courage and dedication became an inspirational beacon for many that followed. Next, we traveled to Liberia in Africa, where we encounter Henry Highland Garnet. Despite being originally enslaved, Garnet's determination propelled him on a path of education and ministry, eventually leading to his 1880 one appointment as minister to Liberia. Regrettably, Garnet's term was cut short by his untimely death in 1882, but his legacy lived on. Now meet Frederick Douglass another notable figure in our story, who served as minister and consul general to Haiti from 89 to 1891. Douglas, an escaped slave, author, and social reformer, had already left his mark on American society before embarking on this diplomatic journey. Through his tenure in Haiti, Douglas sought to improve the bilateral relations between Haiti and the U.S., so, as we've seen, these individuals were more than just diplomats. They were courageous trailblazers who shaped the path of America's foreign relation. In our next segment, we'll delve deeper into their missions, discoveries, and impacts. Their stories aren't solely about hardship, but also about triumph, perseverance, and unyielding dedication. Considering the racial tension and societal divide that they had to navigate, it was a Herculean task. They were not just ambassadors of the nation. They represented hope and progress. They left an indelible print on America's past, shaping the course of its future. Space doesn't permit us to name all these diplomatic pioneers, but their cumulative impact is immeasurable. Challenges? Yes. Resilience? Unquestionable. They waylaid each obstacle that sprouted in their path. These stories emphasize that no barrier is impassable when faced with unyielding resolve. Moving the lens toward France, we meet Richard Theodore Greener, the first black graduate of Harvard, who served as U.S. Consul to Vladivostok in Russia. In facing the trials of diplomacy in a foreign land, Greener upheld the reputation of his nation with unflinching dedication. Their stories aren't just about diplomacy. They are epics of overcoming hurdles, breaking barriers, and paving the way for immediate progress. And so, in this chapter, we place us beside them, appreciating the battles they fought, cherishing the victories they savored. These exceptional individuals left an enduring impact on America's diplomatic legacy. Their names might not be etched in every textbook, but their influence on the fabric of American diplomacy is undeniable. They redefine the very concept of diplomatic service, pushing boundaries and perception. Through their actions, they undeniably proclaimed, We are here, we matter to the world. Indeed, the world was watching, and these vanguards of change delivered beyond expectation. Bearing their titles with graceful dignity, these diplomats changed perceptions, one embassy at a time. Now that we've got acquainted with their journey, let's take a sneak peek into their everyday lives. Living amid starkly varying cultural norms, they enthusiastically embraced the foreign, the unknown. They showed others that diplomacy wasn't just about negotiations. It's about building long-lasting relationships. Their resilience in facing societal barriers back home made them finely attuned to the social nuances of their host countries. This sensitivity enabled them to deftly handle even the most complex cultural interactions. 
Ever wondered what boosts such individuals to withstand myriad challenges and still exude an unwavering resolve? The answer lay deeply rooted in their inherent belief in equality and justice. This conviction empowered them to continually break barriers and usher in change. So we see that their stories were not just limited to their achievements, but how they became the torchbearers of change. It's how they navigated not only foreign lands, but also the complex societal structures of their own homeland. Their diplomacy was effective because it stemmed from empathy and understanding. In decoding their essence, we stumble upon the key to their inexhaustible resilience, relentless pursuit of progress. That's what made them more than diplomats. They were catalysts for change, pioneers of progress. They faced impossible odds yet courageously chose to set foot into the storm, creating ripples that would echo through history. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Stay tuned for more inspiring stories. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.